Capcom. Go. Engineering. Go. Copy all goes. This is the flight director. New Shepard is go for launch. Booster, commence the terminal count. We'll go flight. As you just heard, we are... Ahora los ocho minutos. Escuchamos el no go. Go, no go. So let's meet this crew. In seat number one is Sarah Sabri, the first Egyptian to fly to space. Primera egipcia en el espacio. Medical engineer and founder of Deep Space Initiative. Ingeniero médico. Increasing accessibility for space research. She's fluent in Arabic, French, and English. And her hope for this flight is ah, to inspire the Egyptian people habla. and motivate young Egyptians to pursue education. Mario Ferreira is in seat number two. Mario will become the first person from Mario Portugal Pereira. to fly to space. He's an entrepreneur, investor, and president of Pluris Investment Group, which includes more than 40 companies spanning tourism, TV, and oh, radio. Oh, oh, He's a lifelong scuba diver and passionate adventurer who raced the world's most difficult car rally, the Dakar, in 2007. Dr. Clint Kelly is in seat number three. Clint started the autonomous land vehicle project many years ago at DARPA and is credited with starting the development of the technology base that led to today's driverless cars. He's also a lifelong adventurer. He and his wife have photographed wildlife on every continent from the high Arctic to Antarctica. Entre uno y veinticinco millones de dólares. El precio final de esto ronda entre 250 y 500 mil dólares. Lo otro son donaciones que como que les ha exigido la compañía que haga a la fundación. Por ser los primeros. Cross paths with who changed the course of your life. Dr. Kelly is one of them and we're so proud to have you on board. In seat number four is Kobe Cotton. Kobe is one of the five co-founders of the YouTube channel, Dude Perfect, the most subscribed sports channel on YouTube. YouTuber. El convirtió con Tim por estar acá. Le votaron más a él que a Tim. Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut. Podríamos tener a Tim Dodd ahí. All of the other dudes are on site today. Que nunca, nunca me ha contestado un mensaje. Tim, thank you, Tim. Is to decentralize access to space exploration. Now, Moondale members voted to have Kobe represent them on this flight. But in order to get here, Kobe had to beat the other dudes, earn his stripes effectively, in an insane rocket battle launch competition held a few months ago. The pad is clear, we are a go for launch. Welcome to Rocket Battle 3, perhaps the greatest prize on the line in Dude Perfect history. Our rockets are huge, and the winner goes to space. Let's go, Kobe! That's right, thanks to Moondow, the dude with the highest launch wins a trip to space on a Blue Origin rocket in an upcoming video. It came down to the last launch. We have the altimeter reading. The person going to space, Kobe Cotton. No way! No way! What an exciting video. I think Kobe deserves a pound and a noggin as today he'll get to go on the real thing. In seat five, we have Steve Young. Steve is the former CEO of Young's Communications, the largest telecommunications contractor in the state of Florida. Steve led Young's from 1992 to 2021. He's an avid fisherman and serves as a committee member of the Space Coast Conservation Association. British American explorer Vanessa O'Brien rounds out the crew in seat number six. After this flight, she will become the first woman to complete the explorer's extreme trifecta, a Guinness World Record. The trifecta means she will have reached Earth's highest point, Mount Everest, its deepest point, Challenger Deep, and crossed the Kármán line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. Truly amazing. Here she is there with NS-21 astronaut Victor Vescovo on an expedition a few years back down to Challenger Deep. A crew capsule full of extraordinary people about to go to space. As we said earlier, they've named themselves the Titanium Feather. Titanium is the 22nd element in the periodic table of elements. It's the 22nd launch of New Shepard, and we're in the 22nd launch of this new millennium. So it's an exciting time for the Titanium Feather, and we're looking forward to your launch. 
Okay, if you're just joining us, we're minutes away from our sixth human flight. Today's crew is sitting atop a live rocket, ready to go to space and back. And here's the New Shepard flight profile they're about to experience. Esto es lo que vamos a ver. El cohete de despegada, máximo Q, corte de motor, siguen con el impulso, el cohete regresa y aterriza. La cápsula llega allá de los 100 kilómetros, este es el momento donde experiencian la gravedad cero, la gravedad cero, y luego regresa con paracaídas y un pequeño encendido de sus retrocohetes al tocar el desierto donde levanta mucho polvo. Generalmente, las imágenes y el sonido son excelentes. Y pasa todo muy rápido. Son ocho minutos. Nueve. Que vamos a ver una visión también. As that crew capsule re-enters the atmosphere, the drogues deploy, the mains deploy shortly thereafter, and as that crew capsule comes in for a soft landing, the landing systems engage, measuring the height and firing the terminal decelerator system. Just above the ground, we see the poof of dust and touchdown with two minutes to go. Let's watch and listen as the new Shepard goes through its final checks and revs up for sixth human flight. And in the shot here, we see the access tower for the crew capsule has been pulled back. We've got a great shot there of the aft fins going through the motions. These fins help direct the vehicle on ascent and descent. So que vemos que se mueve esas aletas son las que ayudan que vaya girando el momento del ascenso. Es parte del chequeo de despegue. Miren cómo está atornillado el cohete, la base. Esto se vuela con explosivos pirotécnicos en el momento del despegue. This is the primary control authority for the vehicle on ascent and descent and of course critical for that soft landing on the landing pad. Go for today's launch. It's time to hand it off to Mission Control and launch this rocket. Right there. Keep my 16 seconds, guys. Internal. Keep my 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1. Of your screen, you can see that we are gaining speed as New Shepard gains altitude. We started at about 3,700 feet above median sea level, and that's where Launch Site One is located. That we've got a great shot of the BE3 and, of course, of the booster looking down at West Texas. We've hit our next milestone, max Q, the point where aerodynamic stress on the vehicle is at its maximum, and that BE3 engine gets to flex its muscles, maximum. throttling down to reduce those stresses. Momento de mayor estrés. Mira cómo se ve girando lentamente.
Our next milestone will be main engine cutoff, but in the meantime, the BE3 is back to 110,000 pounds of thrust, powering New Shepard and its crew to space. Quema el hidrógeno, no tiene residuos, es agua. Los hidrógenos son extremadamente eficientes. ¿Cómo no se me oye? ¿No se me oye? Creo que Marco tiene un problema. And it looks to have been a successful main engine cutoff with the vehicle no sé, more than 2,000 miles per hour and 200,000 feet of altitude. Our next milestone will be separation of the crew capsule. Capcom will momentarily cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses after separation. Welcome to space. Señor director, si tiene imágenes a bordo, le hagan mi color. Tiene que poner. Sounds like they're having fun up there. We have to thank you, Laura, our Capcom. Now we've just received. Wow. Look at the blackness. Oh, man. God. Creo que a esta altura deberían tener video de buena calidad en vivo. Oh. Y creo que es el momento de que den me gusta en el canal. Es gratis y rápido. Nos hace mucho bien. One minute warning. One minute warning. One minute warning. ¿Qué es esto? Bueno, que vayan a sentarse y se aten. Se pongan los cintos. Guys, the way you train. Debe ser espectacular. Oh, debe, ser, debe ser el viaje de tu vida, la verdad. Congratulations to... Congratulations to all six crew of the Titanium Feather. They just officially became astronauts with an apogee well over 100 Siendo kilometers. Felicitaciones a los seis tripulantes. Oficialmente ahora son astronautas. We saw the forward fins deploy there in the shot. Se desplegaron las aletas. It's atmospheric pierce point returning from space. Ahí vemos el booster bajando, o lo que parece ser el booster. Control surfaces that raise the center of pressure on the vehicle now have a little bit of air pressure to push against. That's the ring fin and the forward fin, and the booster will be reaching its maximum reentry velocity here, just under Mach 4. Ese 
Starting to slow down here now. The wedge fins, the steering fins, and the ring fin all working together, earning their keep to guide this booster home. And there's that passive downward stability with the center of mass and center of pressure having inverted relationships now. Great close up of the BE3 engine. touchdown welcome back to earth new shepherd for a lot of us at blue this moment in flight is one of our proudest moments really showcasing engine and the new shepherd booster are capable of really just incredible engineering how many times we've seen this happen it just never gets old it's a live booster landing nice and softly onto that landing pad you can't help but want for this to happen Of course, we see there at the bottom of the BE3 engine, we're venting any excess propellants. Uh, this is a key step in the reusability of this booster. Lo que se ve ahora que sale son los que los están ya que vemos ya la cápsula descendiendo. Back down again, it's gumdrop shape, a little slower to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. We should have the drogues here shortly. There they are. Drogue shoots are out. I count three. And those drug shoots have now pulled out the main shoots that will begin to fill with atmosphere to further stabilize the Que se hablen tan lento. Bueno, justamente por la desaceleración, para no estresar los paracaídas, ni la línea de tensión. On its way back to Earth. Nothing quite like living in the moment. What a beautiful shot there of the booster. And the crew capsule looks to be maybe a little south or southwest of the landing pad. And of course, that great West Texas backdrop. So as we come in, I sinceramente creí que aterrizaba afuera y quizás no era un buen aterrizaje el de Luther. Innovative retro thrust system that kicks up the dust but makes for a very Reacciona de segundo ante el toque, siendo unos propulsores para frenar el toque. Parece polvo, o sea, sí, es el polvo de la propulsión. Touchdown, Titanium Feather. Welcome back to Earth, and what a shot. Luma de Titanio, le llamo. Here Diablos and our West Texas desert kicking up that poof of dust. I bet they're excited in there. They sounded excited. So now our team is preparing landing safety operations and recovery of our astronauts from the crew capsule. And we'll be watching on the drone shots as they head out that way. Qué bien, no me diría, me gusta este momento. Son 250, somos 439. Just had a y consideren suscribirse, nos hace un gran bien al canal. The booster, it's been an exciting day for this crew that's named themselves the Titanium Feather. And the crew of NS-22 has landed safely 
awaiting the CC Recoveries team in arrival. If we look closely through those very large windows, we should see some thumbs up, some clapping. But in the meantime, Victor Correa España was in that crew capsule on our last launch, NS-21, becoming the second Brazilian ever to fly to space. And right now, he's the first Brazilian ever to join me here on the show, coming to us live from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Hello, Victor. We just landed the crew capsule. Tell us, what was this moment like for you? Yeah, when... Thank you by, by inviting me. I'm very happy. Thanks a lot for it. Uh, but uh, when when we landed, I, I simply could not believe what ha had happened. Uh, it's something it's super hard, hard to explain because it's so big. And that's the, the, no, no, I, I don't know way to compare. It's very, very amazing. But while we were waiting for a crew, mem crew member seven, uh, we celebrate a lot. Uh, hugging and congratulating uh, each other to finally become an astronaut. Uh, it was great dream come true. But uh, in fact, uh, my my brain took a while. <laughs> and now that you've been through this experience, what's it like to watch this launch? Uh, do you wish you had been back there? Oh my God, uh, I, I, I can't imagine what they must be feeling right now. I'm very, very emotional, by the way. And uh, it was um, one of the most amazing days of my life. Absolutely, and you were looking forward to hugging your friends and family members that had gone out all the way to Texas before that launch. What was that reunion like? Yeah, we we celebrating a lot. Lord, dice, ¿quién te because, en ese viaje? Um, it it so just uh, uh, we, we was, were just realized our, yeah, our big dreams uh, to 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 become an astronaut, to go to space, and see uh, these incredible things that uh, what was was seated the Earth above Caroline. What it was amazing. The, the see the curvature of the Earth, uh, and. We, we, we celebrate a lot with my wife, Marcella, yeah. and my friends. It was really amazing. Well, it's great that Marcella was able to join you uh, out in the desert. Um, how, you know, how was that? How long did it take for this experience to sink in for you to really understand what had happened? Uh, I, I think so. My, my life has completely changed before. My life has completely changed before. It, uh, it tr has transformed uh, the way I see things and push my limits, you know. Uh, and I, I really go, I want to go again. <laughs> Absolutely, Victor. And on that note, look, we see the crew member seven getting close there. So I think it's time. Agora podemos dar as boas-vindas e recibir no clube no mais recente astronauta da língua portuguesa, certo? Certo. Uh, I will send a message in Portuguese right now. Yeah. Parabéns, Mario. Yeah. Muito yeah. feliz por ter yeah. mais uma pessoa da nossa língua representando yeah. a nossa língua lá em cima. É, eu sei, sei que várias pessoas se sentem é, representadas por você. E esse é um passo histórico, um passo muito importante. E, e sei que, que vários brasileiros estão celebrando junto com você, vários portugueses, vários outros países da nossa língua. E nós estamos realmente país, orgulhosos por você e o mal nosso terá orgulhoso pessoalmente com você para a gente é, falar sobre essa incrível experiência. Parabéns, contigo, parabéns. Muito, muito orgulhoso por você muito aqui no Brasil. Ti, aqui no Brasil. Parabéns, Mario. Parabéns, Victor. Obrigado. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to have you here, Victor. Thank you for sharing your perspective oh, with us. As we can see there, this is an important moment for the astronauts, as you were explaining. So we're going to tune into that action. Escucho más fuerte el brasileño que a vos dice. Si yo no subo, no escucho y no puedo traducir. Si es safe for making this possible, I'm saying thank you. Thank you, Victor. And there we have our ground crew performing the final safing operations, grounding the vehicle from any static discharge and preparing those stairs so that that hatch can be opened and we can welcome the crew of Titanium Feather.
We've got friends, family waving. This is a moment, a much anticipated moment of reunion, of joy, of emotion. And I'm so happy that we're here to share it with you all today. Sarah Knight's crew member seven in the field, leading our operations, laughing and look at that. Eso que están colocando en la descarga tierra, eso amarillo, ese palo amarillo. Justamente por si está cargada de electricidad ática. Dice que los de Dios perfecto van a ser alguna gracia, seguramente. No. Esa. These are the final moments of preparation for the reusable spaceship RSS first step that had already gone to space seven times, today makes eight. This is an incredible reusable vehicle that will help us practice and dramatically reduce the cost of access to space. Just a few moments now here, we will also have a fuel los costos de ir al espacio. Se entenderán o no. Esto es turismo espacial. Esto es para vender. Esto es para atraer más gente. Por eso también nos muestran tanto. Y tan producido. Me parece genial, ¿eh? Es un paso espectacular. Ir de alguna manera esto a todo el mundo. Quizás esta propuesta, tanto como la de Virgin, son extremadamente sofisticadas y caras. En algún momento puede llegar a surgir algo que sea económico, ¿no? que compita. humanos, los requerimientos de las agencias son extremadamente rigurosos. Twenty-five astronauts today become thirty-one. It's the first step in building a road to space. Thirty-one, John. Sixth human flight for us. What an exciting day. Thirty-one pasajeros, astronautas. It's hard to imagine this moment of anticipation. that just saw their crew and their family and friends go to space in the Titanium Feather crew. Much awaited reunion coming here shortly. Hola, hola. Acabo de subir el volumen, a ver si ahora se escucha un poco más. Gracias, Mil, un abrazo, gracias por estar ahí. No, no subo la voz, subí la gracia.
apenas salgan los pasajeros vamos a hacer una repetición completa por lo menos las partes más importantes All right, it looks like our hatch has opened. That moment of reunion is happening. Moment to complete the explorers' extreme trifecta. Steve has a new perspective on conservation, which he'll share with the world. Just nailed the biggest trick shot of your career. We've seen it there. I, you know, watch your videos with my 12-year-old nephew Jake, and this is the coolest trick shot. Uh, Dr. Clint Kelly, thank you for your mentorship. This has been a great adventure. Uh, as an engineer and a technologist, thanks for paving the way. Mario, obrigado. You just became the first person from Portugal to fly to space, making your entire nation proud and following, of course, in Magellan's footsteps of exploring new frontiers. And Sarah, you've made history as the first Egyptian to fly to space and the second citizen astronaut for space for humanity. Let's see if we can't continue this action and maybe get a few words from the crew. Vamos a ver si podemos tener alguna palabra de la tripulación, dice. Se le cuelga el video, ¿eh? Evidentemente si sí tienen problemas de comunicaciones de video. Vamos a repetir el lanzamiento. Two, one. que no vio en el video corto les agradezco que se suscriban que activen las notificaciones y nos sigan en el canal muchísimas gracias y acá comenzamos nuestra repetición para el